yesterday I came home from work and I figured okay let's do what I normally do check up on my fish and my fry fry I had about 70 of them but yesterday and uh, I was in for the shock of my life I saw about thing fry and I had to act fast so what I did it was change the water I used the aquarium water where the adults uh, swim I put in some uh, you know algae from my uh, older establishment raising tank because I uh, water changes I did about 90 percent I guess the pH is too high from my uh, you know damn I feel really stupid the water I have uh, over here in the uh, about pH uh, 8 and yeah if you do too much uh, water change uh, like 90-95% you're gonna have guppies live at about what uh, 6 7 pH so, uh, my fry are really hardy fish right but they are in pH 8 and also, I think what also added to it is it was a, a new tank it was or cycled. The day before, and I figured, okay, let me just uh, put in, uh, you know, plant with some, some algae on it and this heater. Uh, uh, you know, alive, fed, and healthy. But it wasn't enough. enough I think, and maybe I don't know if there were chemicals in the in this new uh, tank. You know, the box. I didn't clean it. I didn't wash it. I didn't do any of that. Looks kind of a tanned because it is tanned. I have a dark water tank uh, aquarium. And so I changed it to uh, change the water and added some surface plants. Uh, currently, if you do see the fry, there should be about 50 fry left, and they're all healthy today. I woke or dying or looked weak, they're all swimming around, eating, roaming, even feeding on the algae. Yeah, what an idiot. Yeah, I'm sorry, Fry. I'm sorry. Can you imagine being in a room and you can't get out, and there's like constantly like gas pouring in, and there's no escape? That's why you can't escape, and it's burning them. Well, can hardly breathe. I love some beautiful, you know, they were going to grow up and be beautiful. I'm almost sure of it. But I'm looking at these fries. They're, they're only about a week, week and a half old. And they're so big already. Uh, patterns on their uh, dorsal fins and uh, tail fins. And others are like uh, still like uh, blank slates. I really messed up. Let's have a few at the top. Yeah, from the top it's not really that impressive yet. They don't have if color should appear between uh, two and three months, something like that.
Let me. Lower this for a second. It's gonna reduce the glare. Okay, that's one. Yeah, that's much better. <sighs> Them, but I'm so disappointed in myself. I why didn't I think it through? I should. Yes, I. I. Uh, this is my first batch of uh, fry ever. But well, my uh, they grew up in the tank, uh, the aquarium itself, with the adults. So I only had about three of them. Eyes, you know, bought this uh, tank for like I don't know, twenty, twenty dollars, twenty euros. Oh well, grow up little buddies. They'll be in the main tank. I think in about a month or two, I'll put them in the main tank. Yeah, I would think two months should be enough. Uh, you know the the batch of tree I had that grew up in the wild. Then I managed to fish out the I saw them. They're already in the main tank with the parents. Oh, look at that one. The one that's diving there. Let me just zoom in. Let's see if I can get. It's like these uh, black fins. Where are you? Where'd you go, little buddy? There you are. Let's see. Look at him. He's unique. I only have about three or four of them. Ones uh, that display uh, patterns on their uh, fins and uh, their uh, life. He's gonna be a beauty, or she. Zoom out again. Yeah, I also have some uh, core developing some uh, fungus on them. I probably lost them. This is the main tank. At about nine o'clock, I have like a. a About nine o'clock, it's gonna turn on. I don't know what. Uh, eight something. So you have some water flow going on here, and every leaf should have a couple of uh, eggs bunched up in them. There you go. So they have some water flow, some uh, methylene blue coming in in a few days. Because I heard that's an easy way to infections and uh, fungus development on eggs. I haven't given up hope. Yesterday I managed to salvage about 20 new eggs from the main tank. They were all uh, up against this. this uh, front uh, glass here and I got about three more on the side sides over here look out see that that's the window there the light you're seeing but it's clearly visible this tank is a dark water tank and I have it all to the tank and it's all thanks to uh, I don't know if you can see it let me see from the top if it's possible to see. Yeah, it's all uh, thanks to my uh, mangrove roots over here. It's two of them. They're about 50 centimeter uh, big. That's about two foot each.
uh, make it uh, sink really fast because they were floating for weeks for me is uh, put and boil some water and then add that to the bucket after about a day day and a half they'll sink and we in a day and day and a half uh, of soaking in this water right they'll definitely sink when you these are my uh, lights they're a wild lead 400s but they're also compatible for the 600 they don't really make 600s so i had my aquarium is an Owasa Highland 600. Oh my, I almost tripped here. And yeah, I went Owasa all the way. I have an uh, Owasa cat as well. Uh, Biomaster Thermo 850. Why they call it a Thermo is because it literally also has built in here. The maintenance is really easy to do. Well, I'm gonna make a video on that as well. See, but hey, you have something to hang your uh, nets and everything there. Keep close. Can't really see any of the mess. And this is where I keep. I have some salt. I've been using it a little. I'm not really gonna buy see uh, this aquarium salt there. This is just normal, uh, as you can see, uh, table salt or kitchen salt, salt whatever. And uh, easy start, easy life bacteria. So I have a really variable diet for my fish. Because I have Otto Sinkless, I have uh, Corey Julia, I have Guppies, and I have Tetras. So I feed them uh, two of these. About four of these wafers. Uh, the fr fr uh, fr uh, what do you call that? Uh, fried. <laughs> Blood worms. Uh, freeze dried freeze dried uh, brine shrimp and this one I still have it open though because it's about these two and then I also have standard flake food but this is this is my no my micro flake food I normally don't even uh, break this up for the guppy fry they just eat the uh, algae and flake food the big chunks they just go at it and attack it like uh, alive you know and they shake it i guess it's healthy for them to fight for their food I sense that they're fighting for their food and you're know, hunting it so i'll catch you guys later I hope you and uh, like subscribe and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments